Some days we have to remember that simply having a firearm on our person is not enough to keep us safe. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host as always, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Kingston in Jamaica. It's somewhat disturbing, so viewer discretion advised. So this store owner is carrying a firearm himself according to the news story that I've linked in the description and the couple people that have sent it to me. And what we're seeing is a couple perps who knew that and so they just walked right up to him and absolutely drilled him in the head. Uh, and now they're just going to pick him apart. So he had some cash on the countertop there from dealing with clients. Uh, you know, customers, whatever, and they took that from him and then got the employee behind the, the grate there, behind the, the barrier, to open that barrier up so they can steal the rest of the money, stole his gun off of him here as well, as well as his wallet and all that stuff. And, and this kind of evil absolutely exists in the world. You can see that one guy after just committing murder is just going to walk off while he's eating something and go back through and kind of rifle through his pockets some more. Again, they stole his gun as well. We've got some lessons to learn out of this one, friends. Evil chief among them. Man, super tough stuff there. Do you want to get better as a self-defender talking about topics like these? We do an online seminar every single month where we take deep dives for a couple of hours. They're recorded for people who can't join us live. So hit the link in the description and think about joining one of our monthly online seminars. So I have said this before and I will say it again, that simply having a firearm on your person does not keep you safe. And I know some people are going to take the idea here of you know eternal vigilance and head on a swivel and all those things. But, but really what the answer is here, friends, is not every attack are you going to be able to survive? The reality is, is that as self-defenders, we can be caught unaware, we can be caught by surprise, and especially if somebody wants you dead, in this case, you know, again, uh, you know, even if you say, I don't tell anybody that I carry, this is a very atypical robbery. This almost never happens, but you meet somebody like this and he's just willing to pull the trigger on you, this is how an assassination goes, and again, knocks him over and, and there's zero hope here to defend yourself against this kind of attack. If they're able to walk up behind you gun drawn and put one in your head before you can respond, there's nothing you're gonna do, which is one of the reasons that spiritual fitness is so important, that you make sure that you've said everything you need to say to your loved ones, that they know that you love them, that you've solved as many conflicts as you can, that you're a good, sane, sober, moral, prudent person, and that you and Jesus have a strong relationship because in that day you will need it and you may have zero opportunity as this guy had zero opportunity to work on that in your last moments. And then finally, I, I really think the other thing that I want us to see out of this is that we don't expect criminals to think like we do. We don't expect them to have the same morals. If they had the same morals we did, they'd never do this kind of evil, a, a pure unadulterated evil that we see here. Take a good person who is just running his business and doing his thing, uh, and simply to rob his store and take his gun, simply for some monetary benefit, they, they committed cold-blooded murder. And, and this is the kind of evil that does exist in our world. This exists in every country, you know, this particular one. Uh, it is not contained in their country. It's, it comes all over the world. And we see these in all kinds of places. So we have to be prepared to protect ourselves and cover our ass. Yes, yes, if we have the opportunity to see and, and know that an attack is coming and put ourselves in a good position, all those things are important. But we must also recognize that this kind of evil does exist. We must protect ourselves from it with attitude, skills, and plan, and also spiritual fitness as we seek to cover our ass.